Hello YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I would like to talk to you about two lenses, two Fujifilm lenses, uh, actually two portrait lenses, the only two portrait lenses which one you can purchase for Fujifilm X system and uh, obviously these are Fuji lenses and uh, you can you can use any other lens you know in manual focus mode you know in in Fujifilm cameras but the Fuji lenses if you want to uh, to get portrait lens you know these are the two lenses that you can get the 90 mm f2 and the 56 mm f1.2 lens now uh, on the Fujifilm cameras because they are APS-C size cameras these lenses will act like uh, the 90 mm will act like 135 mm f2.8 depth of field wise you know and uh, the 56 mm f1.2 will act like an 85 mm f1.4 1.5 ish kind of like that you know so it's um uh, in my opinion both lenses they are excellent i went up in uh, dublin to a camera shop and i tried these lenses and i was uh, very very um confused you know and I didn't know which one to buy I want to I wanted to get a serious portrait lens you know for myself and uh, I just I just wanted to know which one you know so I went up to Dublin to try them now I will uh, I will make some I will sorry I will show you some photos in my computer over here and uh, I will show you the difference between the two lenses and you can see image quality wise there is no difference between them build quality wise there is no difference between them both of them they are great great build quality the only difference would be that the, uh, the out of focus on the 56 millimeter is pretty slow it's hunting sometimes it's low uh, in low light conditions but that's not an issue because you don't want to track with this lens you know so that's that's a portrait lens you know it's it's not an issue the 90 millimeter though it's very fast it's very snappy and uh, I think that even for tracking, you know, if you want to uh, to track something like um, a smaller sports game, sports game or something, you know, you could do that because it's a short telephoto lens, it's 135, it's not really a long telephoto zoom uh, range, but in the same time, you know, if you need to track something with this lens, with the 90mm, it is possible, I'd say, it's really, really snappy and fast in autofocus. Now, let's see those photos. And uh, let's see what I'm talking about. So, on this side of the of the screen, let's change this a little bit. I want to uh, I want you to be able to see the exit data. So on this side of the screen, you can see the 56 millimeter lens. You see the exit data down here. It's one two fiftieth of a second at f 1.2 ISO 320 at 56 millimeter. And this side of the screen, the right side of the screen, is the 90 millimeter lens with uh, 1 2 50th of a second f2. Now, this is ISO 800. Uh, that's the difference you see because it, it, over here I have 1 2 50th of a second. The shutter speed is the same at both photos. And this is f2, this is f1.2, so the ISO is only 320 over here. But here with the f2, it has to be an ISO 800. Now, this is the disadvantage of the 90 millimeter that in low light situations, you know, the, you have to crank up the ISO because it's F2, F1.2, it's really advantages because that, that uh, situation in that camera shop, I tell you, it was really challenging because it was a dim light. I didn't use any flash. I didn't use any, any lightning, just what it was available in the shop. So that's not really bright over there you know it's kind of um, I would consider dim yeah so uh, that's why I choose to uh, to shoot in these locations because you can see what the lens can do if you push the lens to the limits now these were really really challenging conditions for these lenses now as you can see over here the 56 millimeter is uh, the background the guy was over there in the background you can see in both photos and you can see the difference of the compression now this is really important when you choose choose your portrait lens because obviously if the focal length is longer the compression will be bigger if the focal length is shorter the compression will be smaller so the angle of view will be kind of bigger you know you will see much more in the background much more background will be included in the shot if the compression is bigger, the background will be narrowed down and less background will be included in the shot. Now, obviously, you can see over here that uh, the, 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 this, this pool over here from the shelf, 
it's on the side you can see that here is almost the same it's not exactly the same it's a little bit different but not too big of a difference but you can see the corner of the shelf is just here and look how it is over here you see it's just over here so in over on the on this side with the 56 millimeter there is much wider from the background included in the photo now honestly personally myself it's it's all about personal preference guys but personally myself i like more the bigger compression so i like this this kind of uh, compression but in the same time i like the separation and the creaminess of the background much better on the 56 millimeter f1.2 if you zoom in in both of the lenses you can see that sharpness wise there is no difference between the two lens it is excellent both of them i mean it's maybe a little bit a hair just a little bit the 56 it could be a bit sharper that but that could be also that here is iso 800 and here's iso 320 so it's kind of the same i would say the sharpness it would be kind of the same now if now obviously it is zoomed in 100 percent you know and on 100 percent there is just a tiny little bit of sharpness more on the 56 but that would be i'd say the iso this that's the reason i would say why you can you can uh, see a little bit more sharper but other than that you can see over here on the scarf you know that it's it's just not sharper you know it's the same sharpness so sharpness wise there is no difference between the the two shots at all in my opinion the only difference between the two lens is that uh, the 90 millimeter is weather resistant the 56 millimeter is not weather resistant now if you want to shoot outside in the rain take the 90 millimeter if you want to shoot inside in low light take the 56 millimeter you can't go wrong with either of them but in the same time in my opinion the 56 millimeter the bokeh and the background is smoother creamier a little bit than the 90 millimeter but that's only my opinion it's like i said it's all about personal preference at the end of the day now let's see some other shots over here the example on the 90 millimeter if we go on this one you know this is again it's yeah it's 250 to a second f2 iso 640 now this is iso 640 it's a little bit underexposed you can see over here and you can see also on the on the histogram that it's a little bit underexposed this shot but the iso is lower over here so if we take and we look at the, the shot from close you can see again that there is no big difference there is a slight difference very slight difference in the favor of the 56 but that's just a very slight difference and i think that this is again like i said i think that this is about the iso that's why you could see a little bit more sharp with the 56 millimeter that's what i think anyway so uh, what do you think guys i just went up to see uh, these two lenses i wanted to uh, to purchase one of these two lenses but uh, at the end of the day i decided to buy another one another lens and i will make a video about this and uh, if you if you want to see that please subscribe and uh, just search in my channel if not you know and, and find out i made a different decision and i will i will tell you that decision why i did it so uh, I just um, I was very confused and I will explain in that video why I did this decision but if you buy either of these lenses you know it will be great and I tell you that you won't be disappointed with either of them they both of them are very good they both of them are built like a tank you know like I said there are some small differences out of focus wise the 90 millimeter is faster it is weather resistant the 56 millimeter is a wider aperture it's faster lens you know autofocus wise is lower it's not as fast as the 90 millimeter and it's not weather resistant so it's up to you guys what you need where you want to use them but both of these lenses they are excellent so i hope that this video was helpful to you guys i hope that you liked it if you liked it please like and subscribe and share my videos and uh, if you want to add something to this video feel free and leave a comment down below if you want to uh, say something constructive or you know a better possibility or better uh, lens for uh, portraits you know in fuji 
feel free and leave a comment down below and let's help others to make decisions. And other than that, I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys.